So this is on point, which is oil on canvas. It's a metre square, so it's a nice physical size. I nearly always paint on squares. So I'm quite obsessed with them. Uh, there's a reason for that. Uh, your brain tends to square an image to its um, point of action, which is usually a square. So even when you look at a painting that's a landscape, you generally frame it in your mind's eye. So I sort of do that work for you. Also, I'm a little bit of a sadist and squares are really hard to balance. You have to get them just right or they look wrong. Uh, they're not as easy to balance as rectangles. So the person who likes things that are difficult, which is me, uh, I've never done anything um, the easy way. Uh, this appeals to me. Uh, but also, the best distance to view an artwork is the same distance as its longest size. When you stand in front of a square, you essentially create another square from the side, which I absolutely love the balance of that. Maybe it's the Libra in me. Um, so this particular one on point uh, was painted about two thirds of the way through um, the project and was an absolute joy to paint. You can probably see it. I tend to do the drawing, um, create the work, do the drawing, crush it, and use it as a still life. So when I'm painting, I actually have the drawing next to the canvas to refer to. So I'm painting from life. Essentially, this is a still life without the edges, so it becomes more abstract. So all the work sit between more than one genre. Um, this is a copy of the drawing, uh, so it's a little bit more blue in places. Um, which I did in two versions. I did one in pencils and I did another one in watercolour, which made a very big difference in terms of how it looked when I started to paint. The textures were very different. And I went with the watercolour on this one because there were so many tones. Uh, a lot of people who've been coming in have been saying that it reminds them of the landscape. Uh, people see figures in it, they project into the native space. Um, and read in a way, read it in a way that's relevant to them, which is wonderful, which is what heavy work does. Uh, this particular one contains two figures, it had, which were ornaments and perfume bottles. Uh, back in the 70s and 80s, Avon used to make perfume bottles which were the shape of things and people, uh, including, in this case, a geisha and a ballerina, uh, both performers, both uh, women, um, as, especially as a child, I was obsessed with ballet. I was really interested in ballet. I grew too, I grew too quickly to do ballet. Um, my feet were too big, too quick, and we couldn't really afford lessons. So I would learn the the ten positions uh, on my own in my room and imagine uh, I was Margot Fontaine, who um, I of course was not and was never going to be, but. Uh, this sort of connection with ballet sort of runs throughout. There's a few in, uh, pieces which contain a connection to ballet. But this particular one um, includes these perfume bottles, which the ballet one I owned and the geisha one was one that my grandmother had. And it was something that I remember in the house that we lived in, um, which was part of the ritual of going out with lots of people coming to get ready to go out for a night out. And even though there were a lot of awful things happening at that time, these objects were a real comfort and I hope that comes through in the work. When I start painting, even though I am thinking of something quite distressing a lot of the time, once I have the brush in my hand, the, can the brush and the paint takes over and it becomes a joyous experience, even if I'm painting something that's very, very difficult. And this sort of transition happens with work and how I feel about the work as I'm making it and that seems to translate so far with audiences coming and looking at the work. I've had some wonderful conversations uh, about this particular piece and everyone gravitates towards something uh, depending on the palette. People respond to colour so viscerally and so immediately that it was important for me to vary the colours and vary the palettes so that as many people as possible could connect with the work. And this one in particular has been really popular, um, but we, we don't have a, an overall uh, favourite by audiences. There seems to be quite an even balance between the type of work that people like. Uh, but this one uh, ha is quite complex. There are a lot of planes, there are a lot of creases in this, there's a lot of different tones. So it does read like fabric and also reads as an abstract image in places as well. Uh, this particular area here I've heard referred to as a door, which is 
lovely because of course the work's about perception and obviously deals with perception of part of part and parcel of our thoughts and the way in which we operate as human beings. Um, and I really, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed doing this one. In fact, I enjoyed doing them all, but this one was the first of the larger pieces. So I, would, I think I was very excited to start painting on this size. This is my favourite size canvas, one meter square. So.